Hello, this is Susan and welcome to my channel. These are the paint colors we're going to be using today, as well as the DIY Mandela Stone Dotting Tools. I'm also using a 3.7 molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company. This part of the mandala, we are going to do a little gradient, so make three tones of the caterpillar. Light, medium, and then the regular caterpillar. Make sure there's enough difference between each tone. When I'm going all the way around, I'd like to skip one and then go back and fill in that spot. I find it just gives me a nice even layout of the dots. That's just what works for me. <laughs> you do what works for you. Now we are going to encircle this dot by dipping and dot each time all the way around your blue dot. For me, I like putting a little dot in each corner and work my way down until they meet. I find it just gives better spacing for me, but you do what works for you.
So now we're going to put some micro dots in all the little spaces in the center. Uh, it's a 0.5 millimeter dotting tool or you can use um, a toothpick. Whatever you use, uh, just try to make a very small amount of paint to get the tiniest little dots. I forgot to show you me dotting just below the big white one there number three in the medium caterpillar technical difficulty uh, number two in the ocean breeze just below that last caterpillar dot then we're gonna put a number six directly beneath those bright plum dots followed by the number four on either side of it here. Later here, I show you that I actually decide to taper 
with this right down the sides, but at this point, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. Uh, so you can stop here if you want. It looks nice like this, or you could taper down the sides. Now we're gonna start doing some top dots. center dot is dry enough I will also be putting a white little top dot on that as well to finish it off so here's a picture of what it looked like after I finished those tapers down the sides I like it a lot better and I just want to thank you for watching my videos and subscribing it uh, gives me the encouragement to keep making videos for you and I love to read all your lovely little comments keep them coming thanks again